Crowd is pumped because we are back as our city concert with Mickey Guyton rolls on. So Mickey's about to perform a brand new song, but uh, before she does that, let's let's catch up with the four-time Grammy nominee for a moment. Here's the thing: you got three more nominations since you were here the last <laughs> time. So crazy! You performed at the Super Bowl. Yes. You. We thought you were having a moment the last time. It's clearly not a moment. I. It's a movement. It's. I just. I can't believe this is my life. Honestly, I think that's why I got emotional looking at my husband because I just. We've worked so hard for this, and he's just been so supportive of me and this dream. And yes. Can we talk about that moment for just one second? Because yes. as Craig said, you did perform at the Super Bowl, yes. and that was obviously meaningful. But there was something that happened. You were singing the words to a song you've sung a million times. Yes. But looking at your husband and looking at your son did something. What, what, what was happening? <laughs> Well, I wrote that song about him when he was going through some health issues that we couldn't really figure out what they were. And to watch my husband go through that, it was so debilitating for me because I didn't know what to do to help him. And so for him to now be okay and we figured it out <laughs> and now I'm here on the stage with him and now our son, it's just too much. It's too much. He's fine. He's fine. I know. Yeah. How, how do you handle doing all this and having an 18 month old? I mean, I haven't yeah. seen him cry. He's been well behaved. I mean, this is awesome. You know, my career started happening in the pandemic. So my son started traveling at two months. It takes a village. My mom and dad are here. My sisters help me. Wait, where are your parents? They're my hairstylist helps me. My whole team helps me. Oh, yeah. Everybody I helps me. It's truly it's your crew right there. It's a village. It's a village. And, you know, as moms that have careers, yeah. you know, we all know that it takes a village. So that's kind of how I do it. I don't do it by myself. Tell us about the new song, because I know a lot of people are talking about this and, and what the inspiration behind it was. Well, you know, I really dialed back on social media because sometimes it can be a lot, and I'm sure we can all yeah. agree. And it's, you know, real life is not always indicative to what we see on social media. And so once I put that away for a little bit, what I saw in front of me was love. And that's what I wrote about. I think the world needs so much of it right now, especially right now. And so that's just what I want to do is bring love and light. And that's where I'm at right now. That's what you do. Wow. You're doing it. Yeah, Mickey, you. you've been so incredible. I feel like we watched you in the beginning. You have. We did. We saw Mickey before Mickey was yes. Mickey. I and didn't it, even know what I was. And you, you've taken off like a rocket ship. Do you see, what do you see for your career as you look down the road? You know, I want to continue being an advocate for people of color and the genre that I love so much. And I want to continue re releasing music and focus on that. Like, yeah. People really need to see that. I'm a funny person. People don't always get to see that. And so this is that era. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.